Please be advised, the following presentation is not intended for minors. Theodore, if you could help out. Uh, between floors 101 and 105, got it. Uh, at least I don't have to travel that far. Oh wow, now this is even more inappropriate. This was... <laughs> this is even more inappropriate than we had, uh, when we had, a uh, Akihiko. Oh no. Oh no, I completely forgot. Uh, remember how we were uh, talking about Jack Down thought of something, Angela and Anaconda? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Uh, possibility of, uh, multi-co-op with rhythm shenanigans makes Soundfall a pretty sweet pick, yeah. Fun fact, I was actually supposed to review Soundfall for Switchaboo, but we never actually got the code. Oh, there they are. Hi. Well, that was quick. It's a good thing you are able to find the missing person. Alright. Wow, we could have just finished the fucking last stream with that. Alright, guess that's... Guess that's Tartarus! Alright, good. Summer vacation will be over soon. Oh, it's still going? Fuck me. Alright, who wants to see a movie? Apparently that's all we're fucking doing. Uh, movie with Mitsuru. Movie with the wife. Uh, theater is crowded because, yeah, movie marathon showing classic romances. Oh, of course you'd be into romance. Oh, the last day of the fucking thing. I can finally start playing the game properly tomorrow. Oh, but we have some plot with fucking, uh, Junpei. So, we meet again, huh? That's because you keep coming back. I'm Junpei. What's your name? You live around here? Actually, while this is going, give me a sec. Fine, fine. Ignore me. I'm used to it. Uh, hey, wait! Your hand! Oh, right. What's with that cut? You're bleeding! Uh, blood is dripping from her wrist to the ground. What is it with you? Why don't you mind your own business? But you're bleeding for crying out loud. I, I think I got a hanky here. Alright, got what I wanted. Come on, you boss. We haven't had one of these for a while, and it's going to be kind of disappointing, but... <laughs> no fizz. Got myself some boss coffee the other day. Give me your hand so I can tie this over the wound. Why are you in such a panic? Are you crazy? Anyone would freak out over this. You need to see a doctor. You want me to go with you? You're weird. <laughs> yeah, he's weird. Chidori. Uh huh? That's my name. You asked, right, Junpei? I'm almost done with the picture. But yeah, she's <laughs> she's named after fucking Sasuke's main attack. I doubt you'll understand it. But if you want to see it, then you know where to find me. Chidori left without looking back. Okay, if I remember correctly, I think the last one is actually a gag one, so we can bring Koromaru in. Seems energetic. Okay, no. I, I know one day I can actually bring in Koromaru to the movies. Uh, showing superhero movies. Of course, bring Ken to the movies and we have to watch fucking cape shit. Feel like you've seen the hero transform hundreds of times. Makes you feel as if you can transform yourself. Hand Shin! Soon the moon will be full again. Thanks, Tristan. In another few hours, the sun will rise. <laughs> God, every time I hear that jingle, I have to look at, I have to look at OBS, because it's the same as my uh, fucking uh, stream notifications. Uh, took Karamaru out for a walk. The Karamaru seems happy. Oh, never mind. Started growling. Uh, someone was coming from the other direction. Oh, you. What am I going to do? It's Mr. Owner. Whoa. Oh, it's a student. Wait, that's a dog. Mr. Owner is staring at Karamaru. Uh, yes, he's a dog. Hey, Shiomi, was it? Shiomi, is this your dog? Uh... Sure, dude, yeah. Can I borrow him? You'll let me, right? Please, just lend, uh, lend him to me. What for? I lost something important. 
Dogs are great for, uh, great at looking for stuff. Now listen here, a warlord of the Sengoku era didn't think of dogs as pets, but you don't really understand what's going on, but Mr. Ono seems desperate. It seems he wants Karamaru to look for something he lost. Uh, can you do it, boy? That uh, seems to be up for it. Oh, he's gonna help me? Really? Seriously? Oh, thank you! Tell you what, if he finds it, I'll let you know what'll be on the next test. Oh, Karamaru, you have to... <laughs> you have to find this thing. Lost a USB memory stick. Oh no. <laughs> Mr. Ono, oh we gotta call him Mr. Oh no now. Uh, he's having a Randy Pitchford moment. <laughs> he's hoping it's not full of barely legal women. Uh, do you know what those are? You connect it to a computer. Uh, Mr. Ono oh is explaining to Karamara. Karamara is listening patiently. I don't care about the data on it. Uh, it's just stupid things like test questions. But it's important to me. You can find it by its smell, right? It smells like this. Mr. Ono is pushing his helm at Koromaru. You... kept it in the helmet. Koromaru seems a little annoyed. I'm pretty sure I lost it around here. Come on, I'm counting on you. Uh, Inu Chino. Uh, Inu Chio. I know Inu is dog, so it's dog something. Uh, who? Don't tell me you don't know, uh, Toshi uh, Toshitsune Maeda. Listen well, during the Izuchi Omoyama period, uh, Toshitsune Maeda was... There he goes again. Karamaru's sniffing around, not listening at all. Now uh, Karamaru darted off towards the shrine. Oh, go get it, Inuchiya! Uh, Karamaru's digging in the sand. Karamaru pulled something out with his teeth. Looks like a katana. It's a USB shaped like a katana, of course it is. That's it! That's the one! Oh, did I just sound like a Sengoku warlord? Goodness. Uh, goodness, though. I'm so relieved. Uh, you said it was a... No, uh, it is a memory stick. Look! Mr. Ono pulled out the katana. Uh, there's something small projecting outside of... Uh, instead of a blade. Looks like it can be inserted into a computer. Yeah, this is... Look here. Right here. See the family crest engraved here? You can tell whose crest that is, right? This was special ordered. I wouldn't have been able to sleep without it. I've been invited to a wedding, so I'd be embarrassed to go unarmed. <laughs> Why a katana, though? Oh, I'd get arrested for carrying around a real one. All that lovely stuff about being illegal to bear arms. Uh, but I'm a samurai at heart. As a teacher, I'd need to have one. It's going on and on. I'm sure the kids who found this were playing sword fight with it. Honestly, that would have... Uh, that would have done... <laughs> Dyslexia, please. Uh, what would they have done if it was a real katana? It would have been broken to bits. Karamaru is sitting patiently. Now to show my gratitude. I should tell you what's on the ne uh, what'll be on the next test. Now listen carefully, I'm giving you a real big hint. Study the Sengoku period. Oh shit, really? The test is on the Sengoku period? Never would have guessed. Never would have guessed. <laughs> Mr. Ono told you in a small voice. Mr. Ono leaves. Thanks, buddy. Aramaru seems happy. When you pat his head, he's squinting his eyes pleasantly. Feel like your bond with Karamaru's gotten stronger. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Obvious, out! <laughs> Second semester begins today. I forgot about this song. Yo, that beat. Uh, if anything, he finally got out of the uh, tutorial uh, floating island yesterday. I heard that that took him four hours. <laughs> to be fair, this is the same guy that played Elden Ring and didn't know fucking uh, where Stormvale Castle was. You know, the castle you see the second you start up the game, pretty much. The superconductive material has zero electrical resistance. As a result, electric current can travel eternally through a superconductive circuit. Many years ago, I tried to use this fact to confess my love to someone. My love for you is superconductive, I told her. Sure enough, she liked my enthusiasm. We started dating. Oh, oh. Good on you. <laughs> Dumb, stupid, cheesy line, but hey, it worked. 
Uh, enthusiasm isn't very scientific. I lost interest in her before long. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I take back. I take back what I said. Time for lunch, who wants to hang out today? Oh, uh, Sayori, yes. We gotta hang out with her so I can get, uh... Uh, so I can level up Lamia enough to get Ajilau. There you go, foul breath. There you go, just in case I want to give, uh... <laughs> Orpheus the skills of an Englishman. Haha! -ha! Zing! After Sayori's suspension ended, you've resumed your duties as a library committee member with her. There are students using the library, but few of them line up at Sayori's section of the counter. Sayori hangs her head low. Yeah, you're alright? Yeah. You shouldn't be talking to me. If someone sees you, I'll get the wrong idea. Like when we were both called to the faculty office together. I don't want to get you involved. I don't mind. You're my friend. You should, though. But I'm glad to hear you say it. Um... I might be transferred to another school. Aw, I lose my friend. Do you want to be transferred? I... My parents said that I'm an ungrateful child and ashamed of my family. They're going to send me to a private school far away. That's fine with me, but... I don't really like that I'm going to be separated from you. Sayori smiles sadly. Sense a bond between you and Sayori. All of this because she got interviewed by someone, and the interviewer completely spun what she said into, like, some weird fucking sex thing. Ran into Junpei in front of the dormitory and walked in with him. Uh, Yukari and Ken are sitting in the lounge looking fidgety. Oh, you're back. Perfect timing. Uh, hey, what's up? Perfect timing? For what? Hey, Fuka, is I guess ready? Oh, call me mid-drink. In response, Fuka and Igus came in. How does she look? This is how I look. Oh, right. I thought this was a little later in the plot. Uh, are you cosplaying? Yes, I am cosplaying. No, you're not, I guess. She said she wanted to go to school, so I said something to Mitsuru-senpai as a joke. But the chairman overheard and thought it was a good idea. So, as of tomorrow, she'll be a junior. Seriously? He's down with that? He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's a great idea. <laughs> just gotta... Just gotta make it super, super not obvious that she's a robot. Just look at how cute she is in that uniform. The camouflage Fuka-san has provided me with seems to be the appropriate size. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why does he want you to go to school? It's not like there's anything special about it. With the commencement of the second semester, I intend to synchronize my schedule with the other members. If I were to remain here on standby, it could delay our deployment. But if you are here on standby always, that means you'll always be ready to go since we're always here before we start going out and fighting shit. Oh well. Therefore, I request to accompany our squad leader. Delay our deployment? Won't you going to school create more problems? For once, I agree with Yukari. What the fuck is this stupid shit? I will make any necessary adjustments as problems arise. Uh, yeah, you do that. <laughs> he said, I want to go to school too. How come I can't bring the dog? Sorry, Korochan. You have to stay here. Aww. Little buddy. Right, hopefully, this will be enough experience to get Argyle out. There we go. Finally got what I wanted. Alright, now I need Moragian next. Is the old man here? The old man is not here. Oh, but you know who is? A man in his 30s is drinking by himself. Hmm? Looking for someone to chat with? Alright, tell me. Have you ever had a dream where you're falling? Uh, yeah, I have. 
Really? I wonder if it's true about the rumor that if you don't wake up before you hit bottom, you die. Forget it. Sorry, shouldn't have brought it up. I've been having the weirdest dreams lately. Jeez, what's wrong with me? Why don't you head on home instead of wandering around a place like this? Well, you're a kid. I always wanted to see what uh, this kind of place was like when I was your age, too. <laughs> so, yeah, if you can't tell who that is, that is uh, Vincent, the protagonist from Catherine. Because, yeah, this was around about the same time that uh, Catherine came out for the 360. A lot of people forget, but Catherine is made by the devs of Persona. Man, Catherine, that's a game I gotta stream at some point. It's one of those games like I've played a lot but never actually finished. I still have to have uh, Orpheus and Apsaris in my party to use that, right? I can't remember. It's like in the original P3, uh, yeah, the original P3, like if you had like the required personas to actually like use those skills, you could just do it. But now that they're items, I like, Cadence is the only one I ever use, and it's because at the time, like, it's really good, and I just always happen to have Orpheus and Epsaris at the beginning of the game. So I can't remember if I actually need the Personas or not to use it. Class, we have a new student who will be joining us. She just transferred here. Uh, time for this to get awkward. Please, introduce yourself. I remember yourself. what's going on here. My name is Igis. I am pleased to meet you all. I am totally not a robot. Trust me. I guess. What a strange name. I wonder if she was born overseas. Staryumi began uh, looking through the transfer students' records. Let's see. Anything else I should know? Hmm. Humanoid tactical weapon? What on earth? What? Clearly that's a mistake. It just goes to show. You can't believe everything you read. Who the fuck wrote that? You can say that again, Teach. Ha, 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 ha. Let's see. You can sit, uh... Um... Fair robotic laughter. Are there any open seats? Mr. Toriyumi casts her gaze over the classroom. Oh, that seat's open. Right next to her. Mr. Toriyumi pointed her finger right at one of the seats. That one should be fine. Uh, Miss Toriyumi... That spot's already taken. He's just playing hooky. Which means he's not here. So it's free to be used, right? I guess this being assigned a seat next to you. This spot will be perfect. My highest priority is to be with this person at all times. <sighs> not off to a great start. My, aren't we just full of drama today? So... Something you don't really get to see because of, you know, the limitations of the uh, PlayStation Portable. Like, in the original, like, she sits next to me, like, just gets all body-body and all that because, you know, that's just Igus's thing. And everyone is freaking out because, like, oh my god, love drama! Do me a favor and save the antics for after school. Eesh. Nope, ring-a-ding-ding. Received a, oh, a text message, close enough. From Akihiko. There's something important to take care of after school. I want you to come. Phrasing. Let's see, you received an instant message from Akihiko asking you to meet him after school. Yeah, that's how old this is. Texts were called instant messages. Cool gates. An annoyed Akihiko is waiting for you. Oh, uh, there you are. There's something I have to do, and I want you to come with me. Uh, where to? We're going to get someone. An old member. Ah, uh, Akihiko is carrying a suitcase. Where could he be taking you? Iwatodai Strip Mall, Akakuri Ramen. Is this where uh, Akihiko wanted to go? You're getting on my nerves. The situation has changed. Sorry, but this time I'm not asking. What? This belongs to you. Akihiko thrust the suitcase he was holding out to Shinjiro. Uh, we have a new enemy. They're Persona users, like us. Uh, yeah, so what? There's more. Ken Amada has joined our team. What the hell are you talking about? He has the potential, and Akutsuki-san is okayed it. He's now a Persona user. You've gotta be kidding me. 
Let me ask you one thing. Was it his decision to join Seas? Yeah, he volunteered. I see. <sighs> then count me in. Hey, our final party member. So you're the one leading the operations now, huh? Uh, Shinjiro turned towards you and looked you in the eyes. If you don't mind me asking, what exactly are you fighting for? Uh, for my own sake, I Is guess. Is that so? Well, you do your thing, I'll do mine. Is my room still vacant? Yeah. Sheesh. Another girl? First meet Suru, and now her? There's more than just me, dude. So what? She might be a girl, but she's one hell of a... That ain't my point, numbskull. I'm saying you gotta keep an eye out for her. Honestly. Yet another new ally has joined. Shinjiro Aragaki is a year older than you and seems to have lived in the dormitory before. Though still shrouded in mystery, he seems like a reliable partner. We now have the full team. Hi, how was your day? Alright, let's check it out. Shinjiro Aragaki. He uses Axis. <laughs> so that's one point to show... Uh, yeah, it's one point uh, for him being my favorite character. Uh, look at his fucking design. That's rad as shit. <laughs> like, he wears a beanie. I used to wear a beanie. I fucking love beanies. So, like, that's great. Uh, no, like, weaknesses or resistances whatsoever. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's, like, pure physical. So, eh. But, like, I love the fact that his persona is, like, very similar in design to uh, Polydeuces, which is uh, Akihiko's thing. And, you know, it, yeah. Yeah, I just love because he gets to use an axe. Yes! <laughs> I love his design, plus he gets to use an axe. Uh, hey, guys. You better not fall behind. I'm gonna take it easy for today, but starting tomorrow, call me whenever. Alright. Tomorrow it is.